Hi, I'm Maggie and we're going to start with a review of logic. If we're going to prove our programs correct, we're going to do this by logical reasoning. We want to be able to communicate with one another, so it's important for us to use the same language and the same symbolic representations. So that's why we're going to start with our review. We need to think about how to write English statements in symbolic form. This can be very challenging, but is very important. Why? Well, symbolic forms are more concise. They're easier, faster to write down. They're also more precise. Sometimes English statements can have more than one meaning, and it's not clear in the situation what the actual meaning is, but symbolic forms are much more precise. So if we're using symbolic forms, it's easier to, they're easier to follow and it's easier to judge the reasoning. So even though writing English statements into symbolic forms can be a challenge, it's something that we need to practice and be able to do. So let's talk about some of the vocabulary we're going to run into during the course. Now first, we're going to talk about Boolean values. What are they? True, false. Sometimes we represent them as zeros, ones, or t's and f's, but a Boolean value is one of two. True, false. A proposition is a declarative sentence taking on values true or false, but it can't be both. It's either true or it's false. So, just to make sure that we understand this definition of proposition, uh, I have some examples and you might want to stop the video at this point, look at the ungraded problems on the edX platform and see if you can answer them.